Vortex optics, red dots, scopes, whatever as a whole. A lot of people out there wanna talk trash because, oh, it's a lifetime warranty, you need it. Well, when you look at Vortex Optics, they're probably the one of the few companies that truly puts the customer first in regards to what they put in the box to help you at home get your product on your gun and to the range. Now, let's go shoot the new Defender ST. The new Vortex Defender ST. Uh, full disclosure, Vortex did send these to us, so thank you guys at Vortex for helping me out. We got some cool tripod content coming very soon as well. Stay tuned for that. And uh, before I get too far into the Defender ST, what is RDR? Who are we? What do we do? We make soft goods, belts, placards, canine gear, chest rigs, plate carriers, all that stuff. But mostly we're known for our Safarian products. We make a Safarian holster mod, holster wrap, holster accessories, all to enhance the performance of your Safariland duty holster, all which you can find at our website, rdrgear.com. And also, shameless plug, subscribe, interact with us. If you like the content here, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, it'll tell you the next time we upload a new video. The Defender ST. This is my first Vortex Red Dot. Um, I did not have the little brother to the Defender ST, which was the Defender CCW, um, but, for being my first uh, experience with a Vortex Red Dot, I'm actually very, very impressed. It is a Delta Point footprint, so you are getting that top load battery. This is the P320 AXG Legion. It is a Delta Point cut footprint, so the Vortex drops right on to the pistol. But when you look at this uh, view and window, I'm very, very impressed with how big the window is and how clear the window is. Um, this Red Dot is around 450 bucks MSRP. Uh, when I looked up online, you can find this around 350, 330, uh, depending on where you shop. I will tell you this much, I'd take this over at Trigicon RCR any day of the week. Uh, this was very pleasant to shoot today. The glass is very, very clean. I like how thin the sidewalls are, because once you present the pistol, you really don't get much of the bulk of the uh, red dot in your in your view. I like how clean and clear the glass is on presentation. My eyes, you guys have probably heard me a thousand times say my eyes are pretty shitty. They are. Um, and my glasses, fingers crossed to be here soon. But um, the red dot on this, the clarity, crispness, and the shape of the red dot are very, very impressive. I, I really was blown away on how well and how easy it was to use. The other thing that I really like is the buttons. Um, the left side is up, right side is down, but what was nice about it, and let's see if I can do this on camera for you guys. Um, let me use right hand. If I had to use it, I can use a thumb to actually bump brightness. Um, so that was very, very cool. The base of the Defender ST is just tall enough to where guns like, for example, the P320AXG does not use a tall suppressor height sight. They use a standard steel lower one-third sight. So unfortunately, with this being that top load battery, you do have a bit of a thicker deck right here. So unfortunately, you can see right here, you're pretty low on the co-witness. I personally kind of have gotten away from the co-witness thing. Um, if a gun has it, great. If it doesn't, I don't find for myself that I need it. I know for some of you guys out there, um, you kind of are diehard on the old doctrine of the co-witness, you know, looking through your front sight to red dot, et cetera. Um, but that's on you. If that's something you absolutely must have, then of course, whatever Delta Point footprint cut pistol you have, 
based on the iron sights it comes with, you may have to upgrade. Uh, but man, like I said before, I really, really like the fit and the look. I also like the true texturing on the front right here, that kind of aggressive. So if you're gonna rack this thing off a table or something, you know, it's just, it's probably not the most needed thing, but when you look at it, it does look pretty cool. When Chrissy picked it up today, that's one of the things he noticed was that front checkering here, uh, that aggressive texture. It is, it is pretty cool, and it's a nice aesthetic look to the um, red dot. My only thing that, and, I, it's, and anything that has it on there, Hollow Sun, Vortex, Sig, whatever, I don't like big blocky badging. Um, these are lasered on there, um, but I'm sure that could be taken care of. You know, like for example, with the way this red dot is shaped, I bet my boy Marvette uh, on Instagram, he is a very talented Cerakoter. That dude is kind of a OG godfather of painting the acros and relasering them. He'd been doing that when he was kind of an unknown on Instagram. He's been doing that for some time now. So if you had one of these, you could easily send it off to him. I guarantee he could probably change the color on this pretty easily. So that's something you guys can do as well in the future since it's very flat on each side, top and front. Um, definitely could have these probably color changed. The Defender comes in two MOAs, three and six. You have 10 brightness settings, two night vision settings on the lowest two settings is an MVG setting. So we had like probably, if you count clicks as settings, I think we're at eight clicks there, but it does have 10 as I mentioned. But what I do like about it, it does have shake awake and in 10 minutes it powers down. So battery is 25,000 hours per the spec sheet. Uh, to give you guys some comparison, with a top load battery, 330 bucks was the cheapest I found it. Uh, Delta Point Pro is 16,000 hours of battery. So um, very cool. And of course you get that Vortex warranty. So again, that's something to look at. The shape and housing um, is very RMR-esque. So I feel the durability on this thing will be pretty impressive as well. You can always talk trash about Chinese or, oh, they need a warranty because the product sucks or whatever. And I've heard all those things on social media all the time. Have you, if you've ever had an experience with Vortex, for example, I have an EBR uh, 3 to 18, I think it is, scope that the elevation turret decided not to work one day. Instead of fixing my turret, they sent me a brand new scope and it took like five days to get here. Between the time I sent it back and before I got a new one on my desk, it was literally like a week. Their service is very, very good. And when what I like about Vortex is when they give you product, and it was no different than with the new Defender STs, is everything you need as a consumer, buying at a big box store, maybe not your local gun shop, but you're buying at a big box store, maybe you're new to Red Dots, it's your first one, you're at Cabela's, at you know wherever you shop in that big box, these are always gonna be there because that's where Vortex is bread and butter is. But when you open the box and what you get in the box, you're, you're ready to go. There's no scanning a QR code for a plate, getting special screws or grinding down screws, everything you need's in the box. So let me show you guys here what I'm talking about. This is a brand new one. First, the dot comes on a 1913 rail, has a RDS cover, just like a Delta Point or other optics, so rubber cover. In the box, you get your battery, your cleaning bag. Something that's always irritated the hell out of me with a top load battery is getting a screwdriver at that angle to unscrew the, the cap. Vortex made a tool that allows you to get in here and basically a wrench that allows you to get your battery door off. And it also works as your adjustment tool to adjust your dot, and then you can use the other end to remove it from your 1913 plate. So very well done on this little widget right here, um, because that's something that I am not a fan of top load batteries at all and any red dot. I'm not a big believer in the, the maintenance of swapping batteries. It takes me about 10 minutes to change batteries annually, and I have around 16 red dots on pistols now, uh, and I do them all one day at the range, I bring some buddies and we hang out, but um, I'm not a big you know, believer in the, the aggravation of a top load battery versus a RMR taking the dot off and putting the dot back on. It's very minimal effort. 
but this is very well done uh, in Vortex's side. So your battery, your quinning cloth, etc., red dot cover. But what really, really impressed me, these are all 632, 648, um, some metrics, et cetera. Um, so, but you'll go through these. Uh, so here you have Canic TP9, uh, SIG, and CZ. And then you've got your Glock MOS, Ruger 5.7, I mean, that's that one. Hellcat and XDM, that's option. Um, FN 509, yeah, I don't even bother with FNs, but. Um, and Smith & Wesson, which we're gonna try it on there. And of course your um, uh, VP9 Tactical, Kimber, Aegis, and something else. So, but the fact that these, and these screws are gonna cross over to multiple other pistols. You just have to know which, what thread pitch you have. But the fact that you get all these in the package with your battery on all your other, and then you have an MOS mounting plate as well, I believe. And, you know, it, it's very, very well done because now the consumer doesn't have to scan a QR code. I'm waiting now, it's been, I'm around 14 days waiting for the genuine defense plate for the H9, Hudson H9. And then when I called them on Monday, they said, oh, we just finalized our packaging. So you've had a gun out now for, shit, over a month, but yet the plate packaging, put that thing in a damn plastic bag and ship it. Why do I need packaging for a plate? It's not a retail plate. So again, it's just stuff that, you know, two weeks into owning a handgun and I can't even mount a red dot to it. A little bit frustrating, right? So, or having to scan a QR code when 99% of the world is running an RMR footprint. So I think the industry should just standardize plates, give an RMR plate to every gun that's going out the door with RMR, and then anything outside of that should be an update, unless of course you're pattering off of a Delta Point, right? But again, if that's the case, then use Delta Point and anybody else needs to apply for the plate they need. What you get in the package in regards to things, the tool, the 1913 mounting, all the screws, very well done Vortex. You guys knocked it out of the park with this one. And you guys, if you are looking for a red dot that is sub $400, man, I really think you guys gotta give the Defender a shot. Um, as I mentioned, Vortex did send these to us. This is not me shilling for anybody. I get no monetary value out of this. It's just they're nice enough to support a channel like mine. And uh, I'm not bullshitting you guys. If you guys know me, you know I have no skin in the game to tell you something that I don't believe in or it's not true, but definitely consider looking at one of these. I highly recommend it. Uh, today I was very, very impressed and I'll continue shooting it in the future. We'll throw some on a rifle, we'll throw some on a different pistols, um, and uh, we'll come back with a follow-up. As always guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, turn your notifications on. Just the next time we upload a video. Until next time, be well. Take care.